welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about my hot water system that I just installed in my cabin. Way out in the middle of nowhere in Colorado. So I'm off grid and I have a solar system and I have some propane tanks. When I was thinking about my hot water system, I had two options. I could either have a propane on demand system or an electric system that would run off of my solar. Originally, I had thought of propane because my neighbor has an on-demand propane system and he says he loves it. Um, it's pretty much you just pull the trigger on the handle on the nozzle of your shower head and when the on-demand pump feels a decrease in pressure, it comes on and you get hot water. I looked into some electric hot water heaters and I saw one from Rheem which was a, a reputable company. They do air conditioners and hot water heaters. And uh, I actually ordered one of these Rheem hot water heaters. I might have even actually ordered two of them. I think they were six gallons each. Don't, don't quote me on that, but it took so long to order from the Home Depot that I didn't go that route because after 30 days I canceled the order. And I had noticed that there were these German hot water heaters on the shelves there. There was three versions, two gallon, four gallon, and six gallon. And they were from a company called Stabil Eltron. I guess that's how you call it, Stabil Eltron. But anyway, I looked at these hot water heaters and each hot water heater draws 1300 watts and draws 11.3 amps. So my thought was I would buy two of them and get an on-demand water pump and some kind of holding tank and make a hot water system. So, and that's what I did. So I was thinking about how to mount them and everything, but they came with mounts to mount, mount them right to the wall. So they hang right on the wall right here. Um, my pump is right next to it right there. So when I pull the nozzle on my shower, um, it kicks on and pumps the water from these hot water heaters. Luckily I went with the electric because it's free for me. Um, my solar panels all put out 9.2 amps um, on a really sunny day and I have eight of them. So do the math, it's over 72 amps. I don't heat the water at the same time in both tanks. I only use one tank at a time. I heat this one, I heat the first one up and then I heat the second one up. It just draws too many amps for me to uh, run them at the same time. So um, I also found that when I tested them the first two times, I turned it all the way up to max and the water was too hot. I couldn't take the shower. It was steaming. It was so hot. And the water that I had, the water that it was drawn from was really, really cold because I just pulled it out of the, um, the spring. And it was definitely low thirties of the water temperature for the water that was coming into these tanks. So my solar will run the hot water heater, but at the same time, I can also plug in my cabin to my generator which is a 3,500 watt um, uh, Predator from Harbor Freight, which is a really great generator. But the only downside is it's a 3,500 watt. These are 1,300 watts and it won't run them. It won't run with both of these on. So it just wants to kill it. So I can only do one at a time with a generator or through my solar, which is pretty good. Good news is, is I only have to turn it up to two thirds and it only takes about 20 minutes to a half hour for the hot water to, to get, for the water to get hot. So anyway, I'm really happy with my steel Eltron hot water heater so far and feels good to take a hot shower. I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Just go get yourself a steel Eltron hot water heater and figure it out and you can have hot water in the middle of nowhere.
All right, so thanks for watching my channel. I hope you learned about my Stevo Eltron hot water heaters and hope you like my hot water system that I made. Uh, everybody, happy Thanksgiving because it's coming up in a couple of days. And hope everybody stays safe. Uh, it's really concerning what's going on out there. So stay safe. God bless you. And we'll see you next time.